512 matchup. Mississippi State taking on Tulane. First term of the third since 2010. We were just waiting to see our name, and once we saw it pop up, we were, we just went ecstatic. We couldn't we couldn't believe it, and uh, it was probably one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. Well, we certainly went in there with a lot a lot of confidence that we had a really good shot and a really good chance. But when you go to that last region, and you know there's only two or three spots that you could have, uh, it was pretty nerve wracking. But you know I, I think anybody that has seen the players' response, I mean they're they're so excited to have this opportunity. As we waited to see if our name was up. It was definitely nerve-wracking. I remember coming in and all of us were just anxious, knees bouncing, hands shaking, and as soon as Tulane came up, I mean, there was no other feeling to describe it. The first thing was shock, but then we were excited, and then there was tears, so it was just a great experience. Making it to the tournament means, means the world to me. It's definitely been my goal ever since I've come here as a freshman and to be able to finally reach that goal my senior year and to end my career on such a high note, it's really unbelievable. It's definitely a great opportunity and experience. I mean, coming in as a freshman, we did great things, but as a senior making to the tournament is something that I couldn't even ask for more. I know the seniors really want to have this opportunity and it's something big for them. It's a big accomplishment for them and for me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>it's a great basketball area. I mean, the, the whole area is great when you talk about Tobacco Road, but when you talk about this venue in particular, just the history here, and uh, the players were really excited to, to actually be here. And it's, this is a, a venue that's larger than Devlin, but it's a similar kind of atmosphere. And uh, I, I think it's great. I mean, we could be somewhere that basketball is you know, not going to get a lot of fans here. And th this is exciting. Obviously, Cameron is an unbelievable arena for, you know, sport, for basketball especially. And uh, just knowing the famous coaches and teams that have been able to play there through the years, now that we get to experience that and we get to play in Cameron, I don't think we could have gotten a better arena for, for our game. Knowing that this is a new time for Tulane to come in and show what we are made of, it's going to be a great experience and hopefully we can make history at some place that's had a lot of history. I mean, I think our team has had um, so many fun moments this year and I think to be able to culminate all of this into the final NCAA tournament, I think that's just unbelievable and to do it with this group of girls, it's just, it's a great feeling. Obviously every year the teams change a little bit, you get new players, but the chemistry of this team is just great and I'm so glad to be able to experience this with them. This team this year has been great. We've had fun times on and off, and just knowing that I'm going to be able to share this experience with this group means a lot to me for my senior year. We have a great group of freshmen, and the chemistry has just been amazing, so it's going to be a great experience. I just think the entire experience is extremely exciting. The opportunity we have as a team to put our whole program out in the country and have everybody watch us and see what we can do, I think that's really exciting. I'm looking for most is uh, just being able to, like I said, experience a new type of atmosphere, knowing that we're going to be on TV and everybody's going to be watching us and they're going to know who Tulane is. It's just a great opportunity for our program and the team. Basically just making it a good experience for me and my teammates, coming out there, being ready to play, being focused, and just uh, being ready for the competition. Well, I think one thing about uh, played a team, we scrimmaged them two years and we also played them last year. They ended our season last year. I think both teams are better. Both teams have added freshmen that have, that have contributed and made us better. But the nice thing is, is some of the personnel is the same. So our post players know what their posts are like. And you know, there is a little bit of familiarness to that. And so I, I, I definitely believe there, there is a confidence because we know them. SEC opponent, we're definitely familiar with the SEC. But it, I think it's going to be a great game. I, mean, I think you, you, you throw out the, the RPIs and the rankings and all that stuff and these are two teams from the south coming up here to play and, and I think it's gonna be a tremendous game.
There's something to be said for a team that really puts a goal on the board at the beginning of the season and sits here right now and gets it. I mean, that's a great, great accomplishment because we had games that slipped by and we were afraid it cost us our goals. We fought back in. We had injuries, we fought back in. You know, we, we go to the conference tournament, and I gotta tell you, I knew we had to make a run in that conference tournament. And, and I didn't know if it was enough to lose to South Florida, but you did it, and I tell you, playing South Florida as well as you did is probably the reason you're sitting here. You know, so don't think that even a loss can do great things for you, right? You were down by 10 in South Florida, and you came back and made it a game. And for a couple of controversial things that happened right there, we could have been in a situation to win that game. So don't ever, if we're down by 10, if you're up by 10, whatever, keep playing. There's nothing that's gonna happen tonight that you can't play through, right? You're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna make defensive rotation. It's gonna happen, play through. But that's why you're here, because you have. We talked about it. Get this game close at the end. Get it, get it close at the end, and then let, we can grab a hold of it. I'm not worried about the last two minutes of this game right now. I'm worried about the first 38. And in the last two minutes, that's our time, right? That's our time to take care of that, all right? I'm really, really proud of you for being here, and this is your time to rise, okay? Let's go. I'm proud of my team. I, I thought we really fought hard and you know I, I've got some seniors that have been really important to this program and, and I, uh, I hate it the most for them because I think they uh, have really made a mark in our program and I, I'm just really proud of this whole team. For me individually it was a great experience. As a team I think we did well but we could always do better and it's, it's another step like next year I don't want to just be set, like settle for uh, NIT or something like that, I'd still want to get to this big stage. But I felt like the seniors did a lot to put our program over the last few years. I mean, we've been in, in the discussion for the last few years on, this, on being here. And um, again, a change to a new conference has put, in, put us in a different place. Um, but also, they need to know what this is like. And um, you know, we went a lot of years in a row, and I think how we did that was the people like Colby Morgan came here and didn't want to not be here.